this might look like in a month or two. I started seeing potential and I thought I could make something like a multiplayer shooter. Um, other people have. I know it's possible. It is possible, right? Okay, so do some research. Hi guys, ChefDev here. So I've been on a bit of a journey the last few months. It all started out with me putting together an FPS prototype and I was having fun making some content along the way. And I thought to myself, I could make a basic FPS with a basic story and you know, just put that out, you know, something achievable. But I thought to myself, this ain't hard enough. I need to elevate and challenge myself. I need to make a multiplayer FPS. And uh, I was wrong. Take me back to easy mode, please. It's game dev on steroids, honestly. It's way more work than making a simple game, depending on the tools you use. Implementation can be easy, but the sheer amount of different aspects you need to make it online are huge. In fact, I would argue the setup of an online game isn't particularly difficult because it is such a massive part of the video game landscape. There are a lot of different solutions, even for a smaller engine like Godot. There's maybe two or three new functions you need to learn and a little bit of math, but uh, learning this is not the hard part, it's the setup. So you can connect two clients through a server, fine. What do you do with it once you have that? It's hello world all over again. You all are starting from scratch because it's not a matter of getting the connection registered, it's what you do with it after that's hard. How do you get two players interacting? How do you handle objects in both clients? What about the animations and the lag? There is so much. So my one takeaway from when I started back in November is that you can't take a game and make it online. You're going to have to make an online game. If you're going to make an online game, you're probably better off starting from the basics and building from there because everything needs to be built for an online use case. Your base game is going to be pretty much entirely rewritten, except for the player movement, probably. But I learned a lot during this experiment. Um, I might be a full-time Linux user, but it's mostly because I like the overall simplicity and to tinker, not because I'm some sysadmin guy or developer who uses it every day at work. So I knew nothing about how networking actually works when I started this. I didn't even know what SSH was or how to do it. Starting out with multiplayer in Godot, there are a few main options for a server-based multiplayer game. Your first option is Godot itself. It has its own high level multiplayer API and you can make your game using Godot as the server for your Godot game, possibly even non-Godot games, not too sure. This makes performing certain actions a total breeze as Godot obviously understands scene structure. And of course you can code everything in GD script, which is convenient for me since it's the programming language that I am most familiar with. There are a number of other options out there for Godot users like Nakama by Heroic Labs. You might see their logo on the loading screen in Godot. I hear it's good, but I've got no idea how it works compared to doing it entirely in Godot. From what I've read, you can really do it with any tool. You just need to write code to implement it if it hasn't been done before on whatever you're using. But I'm not an expert in these kind of things, so I don't really know, it's just what I've been told. So the first thing I did was watch a stack of tutorials on how to create a connection, got everything hooked up for my client server and tested a deployment on a free Oracle server. This was the first big challenge I tried to overcome. In hindsight, it's not hard to deploy a server, but never having done it before, I wanted to understand it early so I could get that base knowledge under my belt way before I ever tried to deploy an actual game. This might seem counterintuitive to start at the end and work backwards, but I had a lot of anxiety around building an entire game and not being able to deploy it because of some dumb thing that I'd forgotten to consider. So I wanted to prove that I could get something deployed before I had anything to deploy. Um, I had no idea 
about ports, IP addresses, or even what a headless application was. So it was a massive learning curve getting that out of the way. In the end, I was able to actually use a tutorial on how to set up a private CSGO server in order to figure out how to configure my server and allow connections from my client. Then I was able to use a tutorial from community news guy Coding Kaiju to learn how to use SSH and actually transfer my files over to the server. And with that, I was able to properly set up a server that can be accessed from anywhere in the world. After that, it was on to learning how to actually make an online game. This is where fellow YouTuber Game Development Center came in. He has an amazing tutorial on how to set up a pure Godot server. I went through that and with what I learned there I was able to get this going, which is pretty much the bare bones of online multiplayer. I haven't fully configured the shooting yet, but it really shouldn't be too much more to set up. So I'm maybe 25% of where I would like to be with this little experiment. And to be honest, I'm having my doubts if I want to continue. As far as personal growth is concerned, this has been incredibly beneficial. I've learned more about networking than ever, and I've gained a new appreciation for this profession. I've gained pretty much all the knowledge I need to make the rest of this happen. I just need to do it. But as far as channel growth and actual progression is concerned, this has been a bit of a thorn in my side. Since I don't want to make tutorials on multiplayer, I've essentially avoided making any videos about this. I had originally started this project primarily because I thought it would make for interesting content, um, but that hasn't really materialized and I don't have any real drive to make an online FPS. So it's hard to justify to continue working on it. And without any real momentum on my channel, I don't think a multiplayer game would be a very viable thing to release. Um, my other concern is security. I'm not an expert, in fact I'm quite the opposite when it comes to security, um, and I don't think I would be able to put something out and guarantee that it would not have any kind of vulnerability, and I would hate to put something out that puts people at risk. I don't like quitting things, but the reality was I was never going to try and make a full game, it was just an experiment, and its cost now outweighs the benefits. So unfortunately, it's time to cut it off and move on to other things. Also today, I've actually hit 1,000 subscribers, which is pretty awesome. And anyway guys, that's it from me. Definitely like and subscribe to keep up with what I do in the future. And maybe drop down in the comments and let me know what you think I should do next, because I don't have a plan. Uh, and I'd definitely like to know. Alrighty guys, that's it. I'll see you next time. Uh, uh, oh, um, we're still going? Um, I guess, come in closer, let's, let's have a chat. Let's, uh, let's get real for a second here. It's been a really crazy sort of year and a half where this has all come together. I don't really have a plan going forward. Um, I'm going to create a few more prototypes. Um, I kind of want to make something a bit more simple before I go ahead and dive into anything complicated like this before. This has been really good and I've gotten a lot better at um, coding, I guess, but it's not really the kind of thing that you can work on when you've only been sort of seriously making games for two years. And maybe that's not you know, true for everybody. Everyone's different when it comes to like what they want to do. You know, you see a lot of people, um, their very first project is a massive project that they undertake and they work on it for like four or five years and it's just the single project. I've sort of avoided doing that and I actually want to talk about it in a like future video about sort of that whole making your dream game mentality that people have. Um, I definitely, when I was younger, used to try and do this, but since getting back into this hobby, I've actively avoided it because I feel like it's very hard to complete things when you're working on your own. And, you know, I thought maybe with a multiplayer, I would have, you know, a chance to make less content, but ultimately I knew that it was all sort of going to be 
kind of a bit of a meme that I had going where I sort of just pictured it as something that I would put out and maybe it would get played one time for a video. And then like the reality is, you know, it's hard to get traction on these things. And without a community, the underlying game just wouldn't take off and it probably wouldn't be very successful. Um, so it's a lot of work. And to be honest, like I said, the, the content wasn't really materializing because it, it's just sort of hard to talk about something you don't understand very well. So, you know, you would have seen a lot of videos come out about, you know, like me just making essentially an FPS where I was putting those out and working on the multiplayer in the background. Um, I, I, you know, like it's, it's, it's tough. And I think, you know, if you look at even some of the bigger names in the space, like Garbage, he, um, he stopped making, you know, Godot or devlogs or anything like that. Um, and it's just sort of like does these little information game devy things, which are by the way, really cool content. You should definitely check it out if you don't know who that is. Although I'm assuming if you're watching me, you do. And I think like, you know, this kind of multiplayer stuff, it's really boring. So unless you're making tutorials, it's not like something you can talk about in, in a way that would be engaging. I don't think so. You know, that's, that's all there really is to say about it. I've sort of gone a bit off script here, but I just wanted to like sort of talk about like what I think I don't, and I really wish I had like, um, maybe more time. Like I don't have a lot of time to work on these kind of things. I maybe spend like an hour a day working on game dev and it's difficult, especially when you're doing YouTube to split that between either making content or making a game and you sort of have to combine them into one. And when you're trying to do something that isn't interesting, um, in order for some payoff that you might not even like might not even materialize. It's like, yeah, I don't want to keep doing this. Like I know how to do it. Um, I've, I've achieved that, but actually doing it just seems like a waste of time. Like maybe if I was funny, like I'm not, I'm not a funny person. I mean, just, I don't know how to inject humor into YouTube yet or just on my own in my room. So these videos don't have a lot of humor in them. Like a lot of other people do, you know, like, maybe if I could make it funny, it would be worth it. You know, you see a lot of people like Danny and what's that other guy, Baji, where you can sort of turn your project, even though it's kind of like a bit dodge into a meme and doing that, you know, can help a lot with these kind of projects where they're not fully serious but because I don't really have the ability to do that and I also don't really have a large community, I don't think that would work. And it sort of all just comes down to that. Like, I don't think I could get a lot of people even playing this. It's going to be a lot of work to do it and it's not really resulting in any benefit to my goals if I had to be like callous and sort of like decide, you know, does this meet the criteria for, you know, what I want to do in this space, in this game developer space on YouTube. And it doesn't anymore because like, I just don't have what they do in terms of making something like this entertaining and also getting people to come around it, at least not yet. So, you know, watch this space. I'm going to definitely try to come up with something new and interesting. I'll probably go back to making tutorials because um, that's the easiest thing to do. I definitely want to ramp up my content. I've been a bit slow lately, obviously just like trying to do stuff and not really knowing what kind of content to make around it. I've ran out of, you know, other things that I've been developing, like I stopped working on the FPS because, you know, I was like, oh, I really have to do this multiplayer part. And so I tried to do it. And then once it was done, it was like, oh, well, now I just have to make the rest of the game. But really, what's the point? And that's actually like hard work. You know, it's all set up, but it's actually going to take probably a while to do that. Um, and to be honest, like I'm not a very good game designer yet. So, you know, that's the hardest part for me. But yeah, um, also I hit... 1,000 subscribers, which is pr pretty cool. So thanks everyone for getting behind me on that. I'm going to be releasing a video on that at some point in the future. So keep an eye out for that. Um, I'm going to get off now and start to edit this and 
I don't know how much of this back end I'm going to include because it's like a little bit, the tone's a little bit different, you know, it's a bit more just like me talking and I don't really know what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, that's it guys. If you stuck around, thanks for sticking around. That's really cool. Okay. Bye.